there is a possibility, even if you were chosen by God, for you to be a reprobate or disqualified or to be rejected. There is a possibility, even if God has chosen you, if you will live a life of imprudence, if you will not be very careful, if you will not maintain your being obedient to God, something not good will happen. You can be a castaway. The one speaking in this verse is the Apostle Paul, destined by God to be a great man. He is appointed to be the light of the Gentiles. It is written in the prophecy regarding the person of Saint Paul to be the light of the Gentiles. It is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 6. Let us read. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. That is a great honor that before his birth was written in the prophecies of Isaiah that the Apostle Paul will be a light to the Gentiles. And God said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. He appointed Paul to be his servant, making him a light to the Gentiles. To prove that really this prophecy speaks of the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts chapter 13, verse 46 up to 47. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. The Apostle Paul is speaking. He is preaching among the Israelites. But the Israelites do not want to accept his preaching. Then he said with Barnabas. Barnabas is a co-apostle of the Apostle Paul, destined to be apostles to the Gentiles. The Apostle Paul saying, it was necessary that the word of God should be first spoken to you. But you do not want to receive. You judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life. Law. We turn to the Gentiles. Please listen very carefully. The Apostle Paul said, we turn to the Gentiles. They were rejected of the Israelites. We turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles. So the light of the Gentiles is the Apostle Paul. He is destined to be a great apostle, to be a great servant of the Lord, even before he was born. His person is described in the prophecy of Isaiah. But when he is already performing his function as an apostle, he said and revealed to the Corinthians, I keep under my body. That word translated, I keep under my body, cannot be very well understood. Let us look at other versions of the Bible. In the Revised Standard Version, it says, But I pummel my body and subdue it, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. Imagine he was chosen before birth, even from the womb of his mother, 
But he is now saying the first century Christians, I pommel my body. In the Revised Standard Version, the American Standard Version uses the word, I buffet my body. The word buffet, pommel, or keep under is the word in Greek which is hupo piadso. Hupo piadso. Which means to hit under the eye, buffet or disable an antagonist as a pugilist that is figuratively to tease, to annoy, into compliance, subdue, subdue. That is, maybe if I were the translator, I will translate it, I subdue my body. I subdue my body and bring it into bandage. He controls his being. He controls his body. Why? Lest by any means, after that I have preached to others, I myself should be rejected. So there is a possibility, even if you were chosen by God, for you to be a reprobate or disqualified or to be rejected. Even if you are chosen, if you do not keep guard or you do not maintain your sincerity, then there is a possibility still that you may be a reprobate or to be rejected or to be a cast away.